Dask works with many different machine learning libraries and many different very common workflows. One of the most common workflows that we see, or a couple of them, are hyperparameter optimization and gradient boosted trees. Both of these are very pragmatic. We see them very commonly done in production. In this video, we're going to go through two different examples. We're going to show using XGBoost and a library called Optuna for hyperparameter optimization, train a small XGBoost model many, many times with different hyperparameters, finding the best hyperparameter set. Then we'll show using Dask and XGBoost to scale out and train a very large data set on a large cluster of XGBoost. You can also do lots of different combinations. At the end of the talk, I'll also point you to this repository, which has a few different options for how people use these libraries together. It's a great place to go to copy and paste if you want to do something like this yourself. But first, let's look at some examples. So Optuna is a library made by the folks at Preferred Networks. It's a great library. Uh, it's a very, it has a very simple API. You define an objective function. That objective function takes in a trial object, and you get hyperparameters from that trial object. You know, floats, booleans, categoricals, whatever you like. Uh, then you return a score. You do whatever training you want to inside this function, and you return a score. Optuna then calls that function uh, many times uh, with different trials, with different hyperparameters, trying to find the right hyperparameter set just for you. This approach is very general purpose, which is why we like it. Dask is very general purpose, so it works very well with Optuna. So you can use it with many different kinds of libraries. For example, here's an example with PyTorch. Right? Instead of your objective function, you create a PyTorch model, you compute some accuracy, and you return that accuracy. Optuna then calls an objective function many times and finds the right result. Uh, works with any kind of library you want, including systems like XGBoost. So, we're going to play with an example using Optuna and Dask for parallelism and XGBoost all together. I've created a cluster using Coiled of 20 machines sitting on Amazon. Um, it you know, took a couple of minutes. Those machines are ready for me. And I'm going to uh, use the Optuna Dask integration so that Optuna and Dask talk together. So we can run these hyperparameter trials in parallel across a cluster. I've got my objective function here. Right. This is, uh, I'm loading in some data. This is just a scikit-learn test data set, it's the breast cancer data set. I have a bunch of high parameters, which are defining my XGBoost model. I train my model, and I score that model. I return a score, and that's it. This is normal XGBoost-style code. It's in an objective function. We're going to hand the objective function off to Optuna, mm -hmm. parallelized out with Dask. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't run this function. That's what happened. Sometimes you don't run cells in order. So great, Dask is now running my code in parallel, and it is trying lots of different things with Optuna. Optuna is exploring that space, and hopefully it's finding for us a good set of hyperparameters. It just ran 500 trials in those 15 seconds. This is where Dask can be very powerful hyperparameter optimization. That would have taken 500 times longer on a single machine. Maybe a little bit less than 500. Optuna can, can converge a bit faster if it's running sequentially. But in general, parallelism makes a lot of sense. Now that we're done, we can go and we can just look at some of those results. Right? We've got the best set of hyperparameters. We can even use uh, Optuna comes with a lot of sort of diagnostic tooling to sort of see how you did, how you converged. This looks like it has converged. It looks like we've done our job here. So we're feeling, we're feeling kind of satisfied. Um, and we can also see sort of what the which 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 hyperparameters ended up being more important. You know, this particular one ended up being more important. So that's it with Dask and Optuna and XGBoost. Again, you can use this with any machine learning library you want, as long as this fits in memory, right? Any operation you want, even see people who do just sort of like classic optimization systems with Optuna. It's a very powerful, very flexible library. The Dask integration allows the two to work together to scale out really nicely. We see this used a lot, I highly recommend it. Another common case we see is people want to run XGBoost on very large data set. They've got a data set that's a few terabytes large. They know XGBoost has distributed computing capabilities, but it's not easy to set up. What they do is they use Dask to load in that data in parallel across a cluster, then use Dask to set up XGBoost in its parallel computing system, hand that off to XGBoost, let XGBoost do its thing, and get the result back. This works very well. We see this used a lot in a lot of very large companies. So I've set up here a, a different cluster. 
I'm going to connect my dashboard to that cluster. And we're using you know, worker VMs with especially large memory as allocations, asking for 50 machines. And let's go, let's load in some data. So we're loading in some Parquet data sitting on an S3 bucket. We're doing some sort of uh, munging of those data types to sort of clean things up, get things to be nice and compact and in RAM. And we're categorizing things. Um, the, uh, we then make a custom uh, cross-validation function, uh, just doing sort of k-folds validation. We're going to train that model. So we're not doing hyperparameter optimization here. We're using one set of hyperparameters, so Optune is no longer in the picture. What we are doing, though, is we're using the Dask and XGBoost integration that exists. Right? So XGBoost has a module, uh, the XGBoost.dask module, and it is going to uh, pre-process that data and then run it in parallel at scale. Um, now, you may notice the dashboard here looks, it was very busy, now it's not busy, although we're using lots of RAM. So what we've actually done here is we're, we're handing off control to XGBoost. The XGBoost maintainers have done an excellent job of building parallel algorithms that work really well for XGBoost. We're setting up their system, handing off the data and giving them control, and then they're running everything, a system that DAS knows nothing about. Uh, but DAS makes it very easy to run their system without having to think about how to deploy it on Kubernetes or anything. So uh, we're running the first uh, split of our, of our data set. We're on, we're on five total. And this is going to take, honestly, a bit longer than I'm going to wait in this video. Uh, but hopefully you can see that it's, it's relatively easy. Um, we could also do things like run large-scale XGBoost training in Optuna. Right? We can make many different DAS clusters, all of which are running a very large cluster, all of which are training a very large data set. Again, if you're interested in that kind of, ah, so the, the first pass is going to be finishing up soon. Right? So we're scoring, moving on to the next, the next uh, split. Again, not going to finish this in the video. Uh, if you're interested in those different kinds of workflows, again, I recommend going to this library, uh, this repository, github.com, coiled, dask, xgboost, NYC taxi. And it has a variety of these, um, of these configurations, of these things that you can play with. So uh, that's it. Take a look. Um, and yeah, thanks for your time. Cheers.